Hey guys, it's a Tech Tip Tuesday from Frosty, Frosty Studios here inside my garage here in Dallas. It's uh, about 18 degrees outside, which means it's only about 22 degrees in here right now, but I'm dedicated to bringing you guys great content regardless of the weather outside. Now, I may get a little bit of frostbite here and there. I'm just kidding, I won't. But that's the point I'm trying to make is that I, I'm willing to go the extra mile to bring you guys content, the content that you want, the content you deserve. Coming up here on Tech Tip Tuesdays, three upgrades you can do to your ready to run rig that'll give you performance almost automatically. Coming up next on Crawling TV. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome into Tech Tip Tuesday. Of course, my name is Will Riggs with Crawlin' TV. Right here, we have a stock ready to run Axial SCX-10 II Honcho Edition. Uh, I've ran it a couple of times. It's stock, uh, other than the things I've added to the bed. I uh, haven't changed anything out on it yet because I wanted to make sure I left it this way so I could show you guys the top three, top three things that I do uh, to increase performance ready to, uh, on a ready-to-run truck right out of the box. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off here. So you can tell this is the honcho. It is the SCX-10 II. Now, the first thing I always do, and uh, a lot of guys out there do as well right here, buddy, will save your life and save you some aggravation. This is an aluminum servo saver. Uh, a servo horn, sorry. Aluminum servo horn because... Ready to runs almost always come with a plastic servo horn. And what'll happen with the plastic servo horn if you fall or you know uh, hit hard or uh, just trying to get crawling up something and you get in a bind, that's the first thing right here that's gonna strip out. So first of all, we're gonna strip out, uh, you're gonna strip out a plastic one. So get you a aluminum servo horn will automatically keep you from having to worry about that one thing, okay? Uh, another thing is this, the stock shocks aren't horrible, uh, but they're also not great. To, for me, this is this is probably too firm, okay, for what I like to do. Uh, so this is a little bit too firm for what I do. All right, so I'm going to show you guys that right here on camera. A little too firm. Uh, I like the stock shocks if you rebuild them, but one of the things I love, this is a TRX4 stock shock, and they're super glidable. And this is actually how they come stock out of the TRX4. They're super smooth. And they work on competition crawlers as well. So on my comp crawlers, typically this is what I have. Right now I have some pro line ones that I picked up in a trade. So uh, that's what I'm using. But these are actually going to go on another uh, another rig. So if you can find yourself some stock TRX4s on a lot of the, the groups that we use uh, in this hobby, you can find you some of these. Uh, fairly cheap, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, uh, But it's a heck of an upgrade over what came on the stock rig. And if uh, you have a TRX-4, these are great. You won't need to do that, okay? One of the things you will need to do, though, most of the TRX-4 bodies, if you get the Bronco, I had one. Oh, my God, look. The Bronco looks so slick, man. I had the one that was jet black. Problem with it, it's very, very top-heavy. And it makes your rig top-heavy. So, one of the things, I mean, it's a combination of things here. So, uh, tires and wheels, automatically something you should do out of the box. Stock tires and wheels are okay, if you want a trail run, but if you're trying to crawl, these aren't gonna cut it the way you want them to, okay? So this right here, uh, we call these chain quish wheels. These are just some four piece aluminum bead locks I got on Amazon, okay? Right here uh, inside is some Pro uh, pro Line single stage firm foams because they, they're smaller tires. Uh, these are 4.25s. These are my favorite though. These are the uh, Pitbull RC Rock Beasts. Uh, these are my favorite tires. Uh, right here, I do love me some high racks as well. Uh, the G8 uh, comp uh, composition are really, really good. Uh, but I do love these rock beasts. They get a lot of good grip and everything else. And then if you see right here, this is something else I added. So you want to get the weight down low so that you're not top heavy. This is just brass right here. It just bolts right into your wheel and it bolts right onto your truck. So if you change out your wheels and tires, go ahead and get you some brass. That is, an, that is the other tech tip I'm gonna add. Weight down low. Get you some brass to keep the low end down because those top heavy trucks tend to tip over. If you have smooth shocks, you can turn your vehicle easily and not have to worry if it's stripped out 
and you got good tires and wheels that you put weight down low, you're gonna have a lot of fun crawling, okay? You really are. So that's my three things, ready? Once again, let's do it one more time. Aluminum servo horn, servo horn, I can't even talk today. Aluminum servo horn, it's cold, that's what's happening, my fingers are freezing. Aluminum servo horn, replace the stock one out, you should be good to go. Upgrade your shocks, okay? You're getting more travel, you get more flex, uh, and it'll be easier for you to crawl things uh, that you can't normally crawl with stock shocks, okay? And then wheels, tires, and weight down low. Wheels, tires, and weight down low. Always good times. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do with this one right here, as you can tell, plastic links. I will replace these with aluminum links right here. So that's the plastic links. I'll replace them with aluminum links. Uh, probably add some uh, brass to the stock uh, AR44 axles, and then it'll keep down low. I have weight down low, and it'll be uh, fun for crawling. Uh, even though this one actually is gonna be my daughter's uh, crawler right here, but it's gonna be fun for her because she'll be able to go uh, and do some pretty good crawling where we go and, and uh, do a couple things we do. So again, aluminum servo horn, TRX4 shocks or upgraded shocks. Proline shocks are great too. I use those on my competition rig. Wheels and tires and weight down low and then you can also upgrade your links as well as a matter of fact all four of those things or five of those things really at this point i started with three but those are five things you can do fairly inexpensively to upgrade your ready to run crawler and get out there and have a lot of fun we appreciate you tuning in to crawling uh and tech tip tuesdays are always fun for me tomorrow's wednesday show will be a compilation of things i've done because i can't get to painting uh, the TRX4 body for part two for you guys uh, until it's not 20 degrees because paint doesn't stick. It stinks. Uh, so we're going to actually do a, comp a compilation video of pictures uh, in video form that I've done, other bodies I've done. My, uh, where's he at here? I know he's around here somewhere. Well, I can't find him right this minute off the top of my head. So I got my, uh, I got multiple bodies and things that I have done that I I'm going to post up pictures of for you guys. Uh, to do that on Wednesday. Thursday will be our viewers rig segment and then Friday crawling. So until then guys, I appreciate you so much for watching. This has been Tech Tip Tuesdays right here on Crawling TV.